Phillies say goodbye to the American League and they'll slip back into the National League East tonight as they take on the New York Mets in game one of a three-game series. Yeah, back within the division against the 9-11 Mets. They do get a break, though, because Jacob deGrom was scared out of Philadelphia by Mike Miller, and he can eat all the cheesesteaks he wants. That's right, he's been scratched from tonight's ball game because of neck stiffness. He also is battling a blister from his last start. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, joined tonight by Ruben Amaro. Greg Murphy will join us as well. All right, Ruben, Spencer Howard makes his start tonight. They get a break because Jacob deGrom's not pitching for the Mets. For Howard, though, maybe a little different approach tonight. Maybe he settles in a little bit more for the Phils. Yeah, Spencer's got no small task. He's got to stop a losing streak, right, against a very tough uh, National League lineup. You know, he pitched pretty darn well against, against the... Atlanta Braves, but he did make some mistakes. You can see him making some really good pitches at times. And then at other times when he made mistakes, he did pay for them against Freeman and Acuna. They got him. Now that said, I do believe he's going to be a lot more poised this time out. I think he's going to be more composed. I really view him as a guy who is going to make his pitches and, and really be successful over the next couple of years. And also had a chance to have a bullpen session with Brian Price and Dave Lundquist. That certainly will help him going into today's start. All right, speaking of help, Reese Hoskins had the day off yesterday for the Phillies. Hoskins comes into this ball game hitting 190 with one RBI, an excellent on-base percentage. There's no argument there, but he's just not getting the extra base hits. What what do you see from a hitting standpoint? Yeah, Tom, no secret that he got off to a slow start, but you know what? It's a timing thing. He is getting his foot down more consistently now, and I think that he's getting it down on time so that he can make the adjustments he has to make. It makes him on time on the breaking ball, makes him on time on the fastball. Prior to that, he was getting his foot just as he was making his move to the ball. I think it was giving him no margin for error, making it really difficult for him to make adjustments. I really look to him to be much more solid, much more consistent with a better timing. And I see him making more solid contact more consistently. Yeah, the Phillies hope that in the number two spot, he can continue to get on base, but also maybe drive in some runs as well. All right, so it is game one of a three-game series between the Phillies and the Mets. Spencer Howard, start number two. Walker Lockett will make his fifth or first appearance of 2020. Lineups at first pitch when we return. Phillies baseball is brought to you by Toyota. Dear driver, hurry in and save. Toyota. By Xfinity, the fastest internet in Philadelphia. By Citizens Bank, official bank of the Phils. You're made ready, and so are we. And by Independence Blue Cross. Live fearless. Learn more at IBX.com.